Hi guys, I'm Maya Perdue and I'm a classical pianist based in Salzburg. Today I would like to compose the ending of Mozart's D minor fantasy. Why compose something when Mozart has already written it? Well, actually, the ending of this D minor fantasy isn't written by Mozart. He only wrote up to the 97th bar and then the last 10 bars were added when it was being published. So in this video, I would like to show you the original version that is actually not the original version, but the published original version, which is added by Müller. And then I would like to show you the version by Mitsuko Uchida, a very well-known Japanese pianist that plays a lot of Mozart and her ending is completely different from Müller's version, which I am very inspired by. And then I would like to think about my own version of this fantasy in D minor. The reason behind me deciding to compose my own ending is that I'm actually playing this piece in my upcoming concert, which is online towards my Japanese audience. I was asked to play something Mozart and I really wanted to play this piece for a long time. So I got the score and started looking at it and then when it came to the end, I didn't feel totally satisfied if I'm honest. And then I went to my first lesson on this piece and my professor showed me her own version of the ending and I thought, wow, this makes a lot more sense to me and then I started looking at what did all the other pianists do because there are a lot of recordings of this D minor fantasy for example my favorite pianist such as Gidales or Gulda they both played the original ending which also sounds very nice but then I found Mitsuko Uchida's version and I thought wow this reminds me of a little bit more modern i would say it's still like a couple of hundred years ago but for example about schubert's fantasy in f minor and i thought there is a lot of space for me to experiment on this piece because i would not feel very comfortable to change what Mozart actually wrote. Maybe it sounds a little bit silly, but because I look at Mozart as if he's a saint or a god because I love his music so much that I would feel like I'm committing a crime if I would change what Mozart actually wrote. But for some reason, because I know that it's not written by Mozart, I feel the possibility and I have the possibility to Put in some interpretation of my own so i decided to take the opportunity and compose my own ending so enough of talking let's get right into composing and first as i told you i will play the original and mitsuko uchida's version
I would like to show you the performance from my recent concert and conclude that <laughs> as our composition in this video but I would like to improve how to explain to you guys about music a little bit more and then I would like to make another video upon these kind of matters. So I hope you enjoyed up to this point and please enjoy my performance from here.